get upset with your administration. Never mind the sentimental claptrap. He had a, his buyout was met. He had an opportunity to go back to France. That's what he wanted to do. Get on with it. Go to your administrators. Go to your president. Talk to them about how you've structured the contract. So, Usman Dembele, whether we think he's consistent, injury-prone, likes a bit of party and whatever it's been, and we know he's had his issues at Dortmund and at Barcelona, is well within his rights to do what he's done. The same as Mbappe and that circus at PSG. So, I'm not with Xavi on this, oh, I'm disappointed in the player. Like, no player's ever made a transfer, particularly when their buyout has been met. Uh, Sid, can you shed, shed some light on this whole situation? Yeah, I think these two things actually go together. Excuse me. <clears throat> I think these two things go together really quite well. In that, one of the reasons why Xavi is disappointed is because he looks at this as kind of this was his personal project. Uh, Craig's been talking about that buyout clause, the, the, talking about the way in which some of the administrators were not that convinced by Usman Dembélé, but Xavi was, and Xavi fought for him, and Xavi made a point of saying, "I want this guy to stay, so we need to find a deal that keeps him here, even if it's one that risks him then moving away." And at the time, of course, no one would have wanted him. He did enough last year to make teams now want him. So Xavi feels upset, I think, in part, because this was his battle. And it was his battle in part against the club. And so he felt he got results from Dembélé until Dembélé got injured again. And that he felt he backed him all the way through it. So I think that when he talks about disappointment, make no mistake about it, he's talking about his own personal disappointment. Definitely. And for the point that uh, Craig is mentioning, I think that that buyout is because Dembele wanted. Exactly. He was ready to leave. He was ready to, and Xavi wanted so bad that he said, okay, listen, how do you want to structure the, the contract? I know that that's not the best way. Put everything on the side of the, of the um, player because the player is going to look on their own. You know, that we are, or we were very selfish. Players are selfish all the time. But he thought that he, he put the trust on, okay, let's just structure this contract like this. If you are not happy in one, two years, then Okay, uh, buy our clause, 50 million. It's going to be easy for you to live. And, I, and Xavi was thinking, okay, you know what? We're going to do well. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.